Hello, this week we're moored up in the beautiful Lancashire countryside around Apley Bridge. But before we start, just in case you're new to the channel, let me introduce ourselves. We're Paul and Anthony, and we live on a narrowboat. And this is our old boy, Dexter. We tried to go green by converting to an electric narrowboat. Anthony still works part time and I create art and videos that follow our journey. It can be a real challenge at times, but every day is an adventure and we've met some amazing people along the way. Why not follow us on our journey? Morning, Dexter. <laughs> well, I'm entering my first piece of art into the uh, into any exhibition, to be honest, and this is for the Association of Animal Artists exhibition, Spring exhibition. Uh, I shall include a link to this week's video. It's on for the following dates. Uh, it's a lot of work to get it signed, sent off, posted on time. You're supposed to deliver them by hand, but I'll have no access to a vehicle the day of handing in. So a couple of artists have very kindly offered to either pick my art up or for me to post it to them. And they're going to take it to the exhibition. I will be able to go to the exhibition when I've got a vehicle. Can't wait. Come on, have a look. And this is it. Mounted, signed and framed and ready to go off to the exhibition. I needed some picture hooks for the piece of artwork that I sent into the exhibition. And how kind, I've just popped into the Laos galleries and it's not charged me anything for them. That's really nice. And it's a beautiful little gallery if you've not been in. Some stunning artwork in there. So a big thank you. Art people kind. Well, it's miserable out there, but today Dex is going to the vets for his third Librella injection. He gets these once a month and it does help with his joints. Um, yeah, he's really slowing down, bless him. You enjoyed it here, haven't you, lad? We spent a few days relaxing in this beautiful spot. Wow, look at this, it's five o'clock. It's also the first day of spring today. The sun's still shining. I've had to pull the blinds down because I'm trying to work. Ah, yeah, but beautiful. Oh, we prefer these lighter nights. It's much better. This is a view straight out of the window. How oh, nice. Trying to hide in the shade, it's so bright today. It's very windy, but it's a beautiful day. We're going to move the boat from here, which is just after Deep Lock at Apley Bridge, and we're going to Parbold. It says about 30 minutes on Canal Plan, we shall see.
away. What a beautiful day. Look at this sunshine. We're not used to it, are we? Hopefully we're getting some solar as well. Yes. We've had a lovely few days here at Parbold. Normally we'd moor in the village, but we decided to moor here next to our friends Tony and Karen on their narrowboat, which is just by, I think it's bridge 38 just behind us, isn't it? 39. I think it's 38. Anyway. We shall check. Yeah. But yeah, it's very quiet because you're away from the village. You've not got the noise coming from the pubs and the bands that are sometimes on playing. There's like no restricted mooring as well. So in the village yeah. it's two days and they've done the towpath. So yeah. there's a brand new towpath from here all the way, all to, the way Wigan. to Wigan yeah. and it's it's stunning it's it's not muddy at all which is an absolute treat and it's really nice to see the path being the tow path being used more because you've got cyclists people pushing prams you've got disabled people being able to use this tow path so fantastic yeah. if they could do this on the whole canal network that would just yeah be it's so accessible isn't it yes and it's a wide tow path as well so it's yeah really good we'd be, we'd be happy staying here a bit longer but yeah. we've got about a tenth of this much water yeah we have we hardly got any water left um and we've so, got four bags of rubbish because... Yeah, well, we could drive to the tip, couldn't we? For yeah, that, but I was just going to say, because we've been closer to our home... Our past, where we used to live. Home territory. Home territory, yes. Um, we've had a lot of friends and family visit, yeah. and we've had lots of... And they've left their rubbish for us yeah, to get rid of. Yeah, they've left all the rubbish. <laughs> they should have took it with them. Empty bottles, pizza boxes. We've got four bags of rubbish to get rid of, which we'll do on the way to Bursco. Yeah. And then we're going to more after filling with water in Bursco. Yeah, we've been there before. It's a nice little nice little place, isn't it? To yeah. come. There's some decent shops, supermarkets and stuff. Um, today's the day that I head back to near where I work. So I'll be sleeping in the van tonight. So I'm, I'm planning to go and have my hair cut. I'm planning to go to the gym and then I'm going to settle down in my van. Look at this. I'm Looks just like going to say, can I point this head. out? Anthony's bump on his head. So Paul asked me to pass him the camera. He hadn't fastened it properly to the tripod and it smashed me on the head. It fell off. Brought and the filter. we've also brought the filter. And, uh, <laughs> Never yeah. mind. This is a lovely village of Parbold and the grey boat on the left belongs to Saul and Debbie from Narrowboat Channel, Burley Floating. What? Have you not, yeah, you're not beeping, is it? <laughs> The building on the left is a really nice cafe and it's called Yours is the Earth. We used to go here nearly every weekend. How are you, Phil? You alright? How are you doing? <laughs> you alright, mate? Yeah, good. Gorgeous day, isn't it? Beautiful. We've seen filthy will up the top. Oh yeah, well, we, we keep passing each backing. other, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 great. How's your head, Anthony? So, it looks so. It made me feel sick actually when it did it. Why? I've got soldier on. You will. So the filter that broke is about seventy pounds, but better than breaking a lens, I suppose. Yeah, it's better than the camera. Yeah, but so, and breaking your head. Yeah, well, you've already done that. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Has spring finally sprung, do you think? I hope so. We keep thinking it has and then like, the next day it's, it's storms. storms and rain. But this is beautiful. It's nice beyond familiar sort of territory. Um, yeah, it's such a lovely canal and it's really wide as well, apart from the bits where the reeds Yeah, going. and what's nice, this is a stretch. We used to walk on this stretch all the time with Dexter. It's also the stretch where we did our helmsman training nearly four years ago. We did, so that was done on K2K, which was the big staff's training yeah. boat. Really nice fond memories of that, to be honest. Yeah, beautiful. We enjoyed it. I mean, more, we got to moor and spend the night ourselves on the boat at Parbold, which is one of our favourite villages anyway. Yeah. Yeah. We nearly bought a house in Parbold, but when we looked, we couldn't afford it. Yeah. There was so much food as well, wasn't there? Like, on the Sue just like, produced so much food and drink. Even we couldn't get through it, which is saying something. Yeah, that was the owner of 
owners of KTK Kevin C who used to own Bickerstaff and did the helmsman training. I wish they still did that because it was such an enjoyable day and it was a real treat wasn't it the whole weekend? Yeah it was, it was a, it was a great, for me I thought that was a perfect business model because you know it was very sensible and ethical for the boat builder not to sell you a boat unless you'd done your helmsman course and they provided the course and then knocked it off the price of the boat so it was like and it was a really nice experience as well like yeah. Paul said oh, can't, be used to, can't believe we used to walk all this way with that stuff I know so I'm cycling back this way to so get the van yeah. the footpath's not too bad is it? no yeah, there is some mud here but it's further down into Parbo mm. where they, they stopped they ran out of money apparently um, and so the towpath the nice towpath ends there a shame. We've just been chatting to somebody actually. Well, it was Jenny and Trevor this morning, wasn't it? it? Was. Who popped in to say hello and had a coffee with us and gave us their old Nicholson guides because they've sold their boat now. But they were saying how nice Lancashire is, and it really is, isn't it? It is, it's stunning. It's uh, you know, the Cheshire Plains you've got, which are beautiful, but I think Lancashire's are often forgotten and it's such a beautiful place. And very friendly people. Yes. We found. My hometown, Anthony, that's what it is. My hometown. My home county. My home county. Is it? <coughs> oh, Before they changed the borders, I came under Lancashire. Not These concrete pillboxes were built all along the canals and in open countryside to defend against any German invasion during the Second World War. I remember doing this bridge on our helmsman training and it's the first swing bridge we'd ever done. I was very nervous. <laughs> now it's just routine. Okay. Yep. Oh, well, that was a lot less stressful than last time we did that. So I think I broke it. You did break it. You Actually, did. no, that was two years ago. I have done that bridge on my own before with no problems. The first time I used it, when it was changed from a manual swing bridge to an electronic one. Well, CRT came out, so I don't think somebody vandalised it. I'm saying nothing. You are. <laughs> well, I am, yeah. <laughs> Well, there's a sneaky rubbish point here. It is marked on the map, but you can't see it from the towpath and from the canal. It's by a concrete. Is it an eel? It looks or like a an fish? eel. I think it's an eel, but or I don't a snake. know. Well, I don't think it'd be a snake, would it? <laughs> no, it's not canal related. Yeah, but um, yeah, this is a nice spot to stop as well. In fact, it looks a busy spot. Looks like there's three <laughs> boats moored here already. Yeah. So we're going to get rid of our rubbish and then carry on to the water point. One, two, three. Good lad. Need to bring the power in. Too much rubbish. Hey, <laughs> lad. Do you remember taking the chimney off here, Anthony? I do. On our first trip out? Yeah. Were you going a little bit fast? No. You were? 
No. Those trees over there, that's where they both tended up. just caught me unawares, it's the angle of the bridge. And the chimney just cable. just caught me unawares. <laughs> well, look at this, the last time we saw this, it was basically a shell. Well, yeah, it's looking good, isn't it? Yeah, the ringer bells. We're nearly at Bursco and this is our last swing bridge of the day. What do you want picking up? Um, how far's the water point? Um, just by the bridge, isn't it? I don't know then. Really? Okay. If you take a sharp right here under this bridge, this is the Rufford branch and it takes you down towards St Mary's where our first boat was launched and also Fettler's Wharf where we used to moor our first boat. Check in the centre line Anthony. We thought it would take us about an hour to fill with water, so we decided to get some lunch. You ready? One, two, three. You have a nosey there, Anthony. Not like you. How's your bacon bagel? Mm, very nice. Yeah. During the air fryer. Well, it's really warm now, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. Feels nice to be back on the Leeds Liverpool. We're getting 520 watts of solar. Oh. Pops up. Well, coffee on the way. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, that's yours. Thanks. Okay. And here's our smashed filter. Because the camera landed on Anthony's head. There's my poorly head. Nearly brought my neck on the hose pipe. Normally put it in the bow. Uh, that's took about over an hour to fill with water. That's the downside of having a nearly 900 litre water tank, but that should last us a couple of weeks at least. I'm going to untie. Anthony's gone back for the van in his, on his bike. I'm going to head to Bursco Wharf. See you in a sec. Well Anthony had beat me to it, he'd parked the van up in Bursco and he'd cycled back down the towpath to come and meet me. That was a long day, wasn't it? We thought it was going to be two hours. Well, I actually thought I was going to be back in Manchester at the gym and have my hair cut by two o'clock. It's now four o'clock. It is nearly four o'clock, yeah. <laughs> um, so I've just cycled back, um, 
for the van, back to Powerbold. We're now at Bursk, as Paul said. Um, we're gonna have a quick coffee with Tony and Karen and then I'm gonna head back. Well, I'm going to head to Manchester, um, get to the gym and settle for the night. Yes, I've got to get the covers up, get the laundry out, oh, all the joys. But that water pipe, I was chatting to somebody who had a permanent mower in there, he said it is a really slow water pipe. We might be better filling here in Bursley. Uh, that's exactly what Karen and Tony just said. Yeah, it took yeah. about an hour and a half to fill. It did. Uh, but anyway, we made it safe and sound, it stayed dry, the birds are still singing. All is good in the world, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, we're full of water, we're, rubbish is empty. <laughs> We're full of something. We are full of something. <laughs> uh, tanks full of water. We've emptied the rubbish. Not, not like no better feeling, is it? No. Uh, apart from we've not got a full tank of fuel. But on a positive note, it does seem to be lasting longer. A lot longer. Um, than it did previously. So we'll see how we get on with that. Fingers crossed. It's been. Is it three weeks? Yeah, I think so. Three weeks, I think, since we last filled, That's and we've still got half a tank left. And by this point, we'd be empty. So. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I know solar's kicking in a bit more, but we're, we're, we're confident that the work Darren's done with the... Um, I can only say that name with the Mancunian accent. The work Darren's done... That's a friend of ours who's an electrician. Yeah, um, we've mentioned it before. Has uh, reconfigured the batteries, the wiring and settings, and we, we're quietly confident it seems to make a big difference. Well, we've got a friend's mode in front of us, Bursco Wharf's just in front of us, my parents are coming tomorrow for a little trip out and Anthony's going to put the bike away and I'm going to walk Dexter. But thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like and keep your comments coming. That's, That's my line. line. Oh, I meant to say, don't forget to subscribe and... Keep your comments coming. Yeah, we'd love to get all your comments. We do. Have a great week. Take care. See you soon. Bye. Bye.